And where did this come from? Yeah, I was very, very um, pleased with Bayern Munich's performance. Really pleased. I mean, they, they showed uh, good composure. They were focused. Uh, they tried to kind of uh, utilize their chances, the few chances they had. They were alert. They're, I think in the midfield, they looked a lot better than in the recent Bundesliga games. I think Leimer gave them a lot of stability in, in midfield. Uh, De Ligt had a good game. Uh, Sané had a good game. Obviously, his run uh, for the penalty then was fantastic. Fantastic, a fantastic run. I think overall, a very intense game leaves everything open for the second leg. But I think, you know, Bayern Munich right now, um, they just focus on the Champions League. Obviously, Bundesliga is done. Leverkusen will win the title probably on the weekend. Um, they, they have, uh, yeah, they can focus purely just on the Champions League and playing now at home against Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, they should, they should have a good chance to go through. Uh, Jürgen, why do they do this domestically? Why don't they do this in the league under Tuchel? You know, it's, it's uh, the last couple of months they were very up and down uh, on the field and as well off the field. And that's, that's a bit Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, you know, it's just, there's always uh, attention, there's always high expectations, there's always the media is going up and down all extremes. You lose a game, it's... Uh, uh, it's a disaster, you know, they expect you to win all three titles every year. Um, so uh, the last few months haven't been easy, not for the players, not for Thomas Tuchel, obviously. Then the announcement came that he will leave the club at the end of the year. Um, then the speculation start, who's going to come on board now, you know, what happens with some of the players and, and so forth. You know, they, um, yeah, they, they had their problems <laughs> all year <laughs> round, but they're still in the, they are still in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And if they beat them, you know, in the second leg, they go into the semifinals of the Champions League. And that's also a little bit Bayern Munich because sometimes, you know, you write them off and they, they step it up. They suddenly raise their game. And I think they raised their game uh, tonight at Arsenal. It's not a brilliant, brilliant performance, but obviously a lot, lot better of what we saw in the, in the recent weeks. Um, and uh, I think you can count them in. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if, you the fight. if you've watched them this year, yeah. let's just take the last two games. Borussia Dortmund at home, they were terrible. Heidenheim at the weekend, they were okay for 45 minutes and then they crumbled. They made three subs at half time and they crumbled. I mean, it was absolutely dreadful the second half. Uh, and he played Kim in a Pomicano. And I was thinking, is he. Is he is he just giving De Ligt and Dyer a rest? Or is he giving these two a run out because they're going to play at Arsenal? Yeah. That's how bad it's been. Yeah. And whoever he's played, they've lost goals. But there's always been the possibility with the players they have that they were going to be able to raise their game from what they've, what they've shown. And they did that at the Emirates. As Jürgen said, it wasn't vintage Bayern Munich, but it was a damn sight better than what it's been. And on top of that, that's three games in a row where Arsenal have been substandard mm. in, in, in the Champions League. Yeah, both legs against Porto. Both legs against Porto. Uh, there's 90 minutes tonight. And <coughs> you just wonder whether... I don't know if it's the pressure of the Champions League, the expectations, the fact that the favourites going in. I, I think it's a difficult one, but I was expecting this Arsenal side to... to comfortably beat Bayern Munich tonight, particularly when you looked at that back four. Mm. But they never, ever looked comfortable. No, and Bayern came out the better of the two sides. <coughs> well, they, well, they did. And, and it's not that big a surprise, you know, with the experience they have, with the names on the jersey. Well, it is a surprise, isn't well, it? Well, it's not. Because, because they've been so no, poor. No, but like, when was the last time you looked at a Bayern game? God, that really, really impressed you. So is it a case that they just knew the league, the league was done? No, you've got a bunch of experienced professionals who, at their best... Are all, <laughs> I mean, Harry, Harry Kane's world class. Sani on his game is world class. I mean, Nabry's been fantastic for what five, six years. I mean, but they haven't been this season, though. Have I, they? I know. Not this year like Sixteen not been. points are final ever. <coughs> they lose in the German Cup against the. Tide I know. In the third okay, they've put a good game together. What do you want? I mean, let's be honest. They haven't put two good games to back to back together all season. Yeah, but one... So why, after one good performance? <laughs> against Arsenal, 
are we going to think anything other than they're going to bottle it no, when you, they get you, home? You started going, well, this isn't a surprise when you look at the quality that's on the pitch, but we haven't seen the quality. It's not this a is, surprise. This is that a surprise. No, it's not a surprise they started the game. You said they started the game well. Yeah. Is that a real surprise? No, but this result is a surprise. the experience this, they've this, got. This result is a surprise, oh. surely. The performance is it's a surprise. It's a good performance. It's a great performance. It's a great performance Which we haven't Vial. seen all season. Exactly. So that's why it's a surprise. So because they stick one good performance <laughs> together, we're going to start talking about the next leg. Oh, <laughs> Arsenal, oh, my goodness. Arsenal's absolutely still favourites going into this game. Wow. Absolutely Arsenal are favourites. OK. Bayern have bottled it all season. You know, every time they put themselves in a position where we're talking about... I'll tell you what, they've done this, they've done that. So what do they do against Leverkusen? Wait, I, don't think, I don't think we've ever said that this season. No, I'm just saying they're terrible all any season. Time, any time they've, they've, they've gone into a game where it's like, OK, we're going to see the real Bayern. Leverkusen, battered. Dortmund, yeah. at home, battered. So, yes, they did well tonight yes. and they started well. Right. Big deal, they started well. No. <laughs> considering, what, considering the team they've got... <laughs> it, it shouldn't be that big a surprise. Come on, the experience that they've got. I think good, it is. For goodness sake. The exp in fact, they've got yeah. more experience in their team in Champions League than Arsenal do. Um, so I mean, it's told you predicted a 2 0 win to Arsenal. It's not. A, right? Right. Well, there was, they're not a man on the planet that, that thought Bayern were going to win this game. Derek Ray. <laughs> oh, he doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> He's German, isn't he? Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Listen, I. Bayern did great tonight, right? But I ain't putting a penny of my money on Bayern knocking Arsenal out in the second leg, even when they're at home. But I think because even at, when they're at home, that's when they disappoint even more than <laughs> than usual. So I ain't falling for this one <laughs> one game wonder. We've right. done all right. I all just, right. I just look. It can happen, but I just felt, <laughs> I just felt Arsenal at home, bearing in mind their form, and with, particularly at home when they just suffocate teams, they don't even let them out their half half the time. Uh, their pressing game is, for the most part, has been brilliant. I, I just felt, yeah, they might not get the goals or they might make a mistake at the back, but they're going to throttle the life out of this Bayern side. They're going to pepper this goal. It wasn't the case. It wasn't the case. Yeah, they dominated possession. You'd expect that, but again, they look vulnerable at the back, which they haven't done many times this year. And I honestly felt Arsenal would be taking a much healthier result to Munich and and. Uh, in terms of what they are. And I think for them, that's a big concern, particularly when you look at the way they've performed in the Champions League away from home in Porto, where they didn't play particularly well at all. Yeah, to that point, Robbo, why do we see a different Arsenal in the Champions League than we do in the league? Uh, maybe lack of confidence. You know, they haven't done it in the Champions League for quite some while. Uh, that poor, those poor performances against Porto for different reasons. The one in Porto, they just didn't get going in terms of their football ability. They didn't pass it particularly well. They didn't play at high enough tempo. The game at home, they looked fragile defensively and they looked fragile defensively tonight. And Bayern's best chance was at times on the counter-attack, particularly with Sane and Gnabry and Musiala playing in the hole. Today, Arsenal, when they did press the ball, were played around a little bit too easily. And then when they get played around too easily, the defenders don't make such good decisions. So that's going to have to change for the second leg. But uh, Arsenal weren't at their best tonight and it was a good performance by Bayern. But when they play well, it quite often comes to their counter-attacking at pace through the wide players. Sani coming in field off the wide areas. Gnabry or Koeman, it'll probably be in the, in the return game, coming off the wide areas. Harry Kane coming shorter to link up the play. And Musiala showing that bit of skill around the box. Unless those four players play at their very best, Arsenal will still uh, go into the game as favourites. How concerned would you be if you're Miguel Arteta to, to see this drop in performance in, in these big Champions League games, Jürgen? Well, I can only say you're all only as good as your next game. And uh, I'm not surprised that Bayern Munich stepped it up after all the bad games they had recently because they have still so much quality. They have so good, so many good, good players there. And uh, um, these one-off games or knockout games in the Champions League phase at their very, very end, you know, the, the players looking at each other, they look, you look at the other side. If you're an Arsenal player, you look at the other side, you see Harry Kane, you see Manuel Neuer, you see... You know, all these players, you know, you have a lot, a lot of respect. And I, I think it has a lot to do with then confidence because uh, even if you have a good run in your, in your domestic championship in the Premier League now for us, it doesn't mean that easily you will transfer that kind of a form over to the Champions League games when you play a Real Madrid or, or Bayern Munich or, or Paris Saint-Germain. You, know, you have to prove it always in the next game. And I think um, talking about who's favourite there in the, next, uh, in, in the second leg, 
I mean, if you get a 2-2 tie away from home and you go home now to the Atlanta Arena in front of their 70,000 Bayern Munich fans, then you're the favorite. And I think Bayern Munich is the favorite to go through there with, with the quality of players they have. And forget about what happens in the Bundesliga. They won now the Bundesliga 11 times in a row. <laughs> Maybe they're a little bit tired of that. You know, they need a little break there of the Bundesliga. Uh, but Thomas <laughs> Tuchel came on at, uh, at Chelsea. They came on at Chelsea and took over for Frank Lampard and took them to the Champions League title. And why not this time? You know, it's the final eight now, and uh, anything can happen. But uh, if I was, you know, manager of Arsenal, I would be very concerned about, at least about, the Champions League situation now, going into Munich and uh, going against a very, very experienced uh, Bayern Munich side that is probably now even hungrier than, than ever because of, of the, the very negative Bundesliga season so far. I, well, I'll tell you yeah. what, some of these people take money, they may sit there with a scarf around their necks. Yeah. Not Robbo, he's banned from Arsenal oh, still, yeah. isn't he, former player? I mean, <laughs> no, nobody, in there, nobody who understands the game in their right mind could think that was a penalty kick. Right. Emmanuel Neuer did absolutely nothing, nothing. wrong. No. I mean, nothing. Um, OK, let's take a look at the uh, second leg then. Percentages. Stevie, this is, I'm going to yeah, start with you because we know, obviously, you think that it's going to be Arsenal. 55-45. 55-45. Yes. Arsenal the favourites to go through to the semi-finals. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I, 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 I understand everything that everybody's saying about Arsenal in the Champions League, uh, but I still think they're the better side. Right. And because Bayern have been so inconsistent and have been... Just when you expect them to maybe do something, they have absolutely... 55 45 is quite so, close, considering the way you've been talking. No, no, no. Oh, the, oh, well, the way you filter, the way I've been talking, it's, that's your filter. What, you, you said this no, now? No, no. I said they're favourites. <laughs> yep. And with 55 45, yes. that makes them favourites. Uh, Jürgen, however, you have Bayern as favourites. How would you split the two? 70-30. Wow! Bayern. Oh. Wow! What? Look at that. Derek Ray's been Derek on the Ray will be very a, proud of you. There's a certain Harry Kane in there. There's yeah, a certain there Harry Kane in there. You know? uh, for, for what Arsenal <laughs> he's, double, he's double motivated. You know, he wants to win a title. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, I know. Imagine that. Shut everyone <laughs> and up. And it's against uh, Arsenal, so... Uh. Uh, Robbo, former Arsenal uh, midfielder. I think it's going to be... I'm going to go 50-50, uh, but I hope Bayern win. There we are. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> well, we knew that already. There goes the, uh, there go, there goes the statue, Robbo. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, the yeah. statue gone. Bernie, what are you going for? Oh, my God. That surprised me tonight, in a sense that... Yeah. yeah. I think... Did you just say, yeah? He's... he's <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, as, you, as you very rudely told me, I put 2-0, that's no. Right. So, but, yeah, it did surprise me, yeah. Ten minutes ago, you were saying yeah. it wasn't a surprise. No, see, you... Again, you're trying to... You try to change your words. I'm not changing you my words. Oh, let's get it right. They started well. Yeah. That was what this is all about. So they started well. I oh, see so you've skewed it like that. Oh now, no. You? No, no. Right. No. No. Okay. All right. Anyway. anyway. I'm getting it off the master skewer. Okay, all right. Uh, I think it's a really tight one now. I mean, Arsenal are much better in terms of form, but I'm gonna go 50-50 and Bayern Munich to go through an extra time of pens. Wow. It's a big swing in this mm. one. Now. Wow. And by the way, I've watched a lot of Bayern Munich this year. Yeah. I can't believe I've just said that. There you go. Because they have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just play with this clip of Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> but when Bayern yeah, go but, through... Oh, I yeah. No, I just yeah. Arsenal. Yeah, right? when Arsenal go through, yeah, you <laughs> better be on. Uh, just a reminder, of course, a big weekend in the Bundesliga by Leverkusen with the opportunity to seal the deal and be crowned champions. They're in action on Sunday at home against Werder Bremen. Uh, preceding that, Bayern, meanwhile, will take on Cologne. Uh, that is at 9.30 Eastern. All those matches available on ESPN+. Plus.